Hello and welcome back to the channel. So I've been looking for a small torch now for a little while because my existing torch recently died and very fortuitously for me, a company called Trustfire reached out and offered whether I'd like to review their MC3 flashlight or torch as they're called in the UK. And so I readily agreed. Now I've been using this for about a month now and I just wanted to give you my initial thoughts in case you too are also looking for a torch. My initial impressions of this torch, other than it being very well made and robust, is that it is quite small and light. I think it's 11.2 centimetres long by about three centimetres wide. So that'll easily fit into a pocket and it'll make a good backup torch to a larger torch or as an everyday carry that you can just stick in your pocket and use when you're going about town and stuff. So it's a really nice size and for the size of it, the output is tremendous. It is a very, very bright torch. Now it doesn't weigh too much either. I think it's 57 grams without a battery. 127 grams with so over half of the weight is due down to the battery uh, and that means you do get quite a lot of use out of this torch before it goes flat the beam pattern on this flashlight is really quite wide and it's very even as well and that means i think it's optimized for kind of close in to medium distance work as opposed to a spotlight which narrows the distance down but throws it a long way now i find if i'm using a spot it's not a good close in because you get that kind of eye strain because it's too bright close up but with this, it's very, very comfortable to use because you do get that nice wide even spread. So for close up walk, it works, sorry, this is ideal. And it's also really good on a bike as well. If you attach this to the handlebars on your bike, what you find is you get a nice wide angle of view uh, and you can see where you're going on a bike really well. Now, Trustfire claim this goes up to 2,500 lumens bright and I've got no way of testing that at all, but I can tell you it is astoundingly bright particularly for a torch of this size it is really quite something to see and i've not seen a torch as bright as this before so i was very very impressed with just how bright it gets now the other thing they claim is that this is ip68 waterproof rating which means it should be waterproof for at least a meter uh, for 30 minutes now i haven't tested that personally but i've got no reason to doubt it it's only got one opening on this torch and that is where you change the battery here uh, and that is protected by a really solid o-ring so it looks like it should be waterproof the other thing i like is it's magnetic charging so with a lot of torches like this uh, either you have to unscrew it and, and unscrew it back again and change the battery uh, and over time that's going to affect the o-ring with this one it's you, you charge the battery in the phone so you don't have to and usually the kind of usb charging and that means there's a hole where the water can get into this is a solid plate it's a, i think it's a brass plate but it is solid and that means you can't really get your water in there there's nowhere for it to go so it looks really solid and well thought out and you know it's a good bit of kit by the looks of things another feature i really like is there's a very steady clip on the side of the torch and you can use that to attach it to a peak cap and that converts it to a head torch and that is really useful if you want to go hands-free at any time and it's just a really nice feature to have the torch has got five modes and the first of which is candlelight which is really just a dim glow and i absolutely love this mode because if you follow my channel for a while you know that i try to be quite discreet at night with lights when i'm stealth camping and i often carry a torch with the end taped up with just a pinprick of light being allowed to escape with a little hole i've made in the end uh, but this actually does the same job in one package so i no longer have to carry a separate torch for that so it's bright enough that you can read a map with it's bright enough that you can you know find things in your tent at night but it's still very dim and it's very discreet and it'll last about 11 days on this mode so if you wanted to leave the torch on at night so you can always find it or maybe use it as a night light then you could definitely use it for that so i think this is the killer feature for me it's not how bright it goes it's actually how dim you can actually make this torch really useful feature the next mode on this torch is low and i'll just show you how much difference that is and you're not going to get the full effect because obviously we're in daylight right now but for reference you know the low mode on this torch is as bright as the high mode on my old xml t6 led torches and it is as bright as you realistically need for outside walking in the woodlands at night you know you can see the path ahead of you you can see trees if someone was creeping up on you you would definitely see them uh, and also if you walk along the road at night then it is plenty bright enough for you to actually for them to see you and avoid getting run over so i think the low mode on this is kind of the go-to for me this is all i really need from a torch especially this size uh, and it's it's a great one to have and with the battery in this you're going to get hours and hours of use out of that so it's a really good mode to have now if you wanted to go higher than that you can do uh, and we've got a medium mode and i'll just show you, show you what that looks like so one click there 
Now the medium mode, I would say, is, is almost too bright for kind of everyday walking. It's perhaps useful if you're maybe scared of the dark and you want to be able to see a little bit further ahead. Uh, but you know, for day to day walking around, you don't need that level of brightness. Now one use case I think for this mode is if you attach this to a uh, bike's handlebars and then you could use this as a cycle light because having that little bit of extra brightness allows you to see a little bit further ahead and gives you that bit more reaction time. So it's definitely useful in that scenario and I've tested the battery life in that medium mode and you get a solid four hours out of it. So it is, you know, it's got legs, it's going to last uh, and, and medium is plenty bright enough. And one thing I should mention when we talk about the medium mode is after about an hour, this does get quite warm. Now, this part particularly, uh, right at the very end, is almost kind of too hot to touch. It gets uncomfortably warm, while this part where we actually hold, you know, it gets warm, but it's still hand holdable. Now, that could be because it is summer at the moment, so there's not a lot of place for the, the heat to kind of dissipate to. And maybe in autumn and winter, this wouldn't be so bad. But I would argue, even if it doesn't uh, you know make it any cooler in autumn and winter this would actually make a really nice hand warmer when the temperatures change and the next mode this torch has is high and i'll just show you how bright this is and again you're not going to get the full effect because it's actually daylight right now but that is outstandingly bright i mean it's literally like nothing i've seen before particularly from a torch of this size now i would argue high is too bright uh, i can't actually think of a scenario where you would need that and the downside of having that high mode is because it does output so much light, it's also gonna produce quite a lot of heat as well. Now, after about 10 minutes, 15 minutes of use, this bit becomes uncomfortably hot to touch, uh, and this also becomes too hot to touch as well, the handle. So this is useful in kind of short burst or short mode. So if you need the quick burst of very bright light to find something that's gonna take a couple of minutes, it's fine for that. But I wouldn't wanna use this on high power all the time because it does get too hot and it's just too bright. It's uncomfortably bright, it actually hurts your eyes. I made the mistake of turning this on inside and just the reflection from my kitchen walls was enough to dazzle me. So uh, it is outstandingly bright when it needs to be. And the final mode this torch has a strobe, which I'm not gonna demonstrate just in case anybody is sensitive to that and could have an epileptic fit. But the way you access this mode, it's separate from all the others, so you can't you know, accidentally turn that on. And also, it's quite easy to get you directly because you just hold the button down for two seconds, then it comes on automatically in that kind of strobe mode. Now, that could be useful, for example, if you thought you were going to be attacked and it could you know, dazzle an attacker and allow you to do what you need to do and then get away. Now, the other thing I should mention about this torch is the on-off button because it's really well designed. It's got some nice features on here. Now to turn it on, you just hold that down for half a second, and then you cycle through the different modes by just clicking the button one more time. Apart from the strobe mode, which you can only access from the off position and holding this down for two seconds. And I think that's a safety feature, so that if you are kind of sensitive to kind of strobe lighting, you can't switch it on accidentally. So really well thought out that. The other thing I really like is this mode, when you turn it off and then turn it back on again, the torch remembers what mode it was on when it was last off and comes back on in that same mode. And if you know me, you know, I like to be discreet with white light at night time. Uh, so I have it set to low. That means when I switch it back on, it's coming back on in low again, not on high power like all the other torches. So for me, that's a really nice feature and I really appreciate that. The other thing this has is a power indicator. So from the off position, if you just push it briefly, it'll go either red, amber or green to tell you whether it's you know fully charged or needs charging. Uh, and that is again a nice little feature to have the only thing i don't like about this button is where it's located it's on the tail of the torch as opposed to the tail where most of my other buttons are uh, and that means sometimes at night it's a little bit harder to find because it's quite a smooth button so trying to find it at night time when you haven't got any light can be a little bit difficult it takes a few seconds particularly as it's located opposite the charging port and that charging port can feel the same so sometimes i'm find i'm pushing this charging port as opposed to the button so i can lose a couple of seconds there but the reason they haven't put it on the tail like most other torches is they've actually put a nice little trick in here what they've done is they've made this magnetic and that has a lot of advantages so if you're working on your car at night for example and you've got the bonnet open you can stick that to the top of your bonnet roof you can see into the engine bay and you can work on your engine or alternatively you could stick it to your wheel arch and then you could change your tire at night so that actually is a really nice feature and that is worth having that kind of button on the neck for it doesn't mean you lose a couple of seconds but it's something i think i'm going to get used to in time and i'll be able to find it better with a bit of practice 
So the final verdict then is this has definitely earned a place in my rucksack because it does everything that a small torch should, but it also has the flexibility to produce an astounding amount of light and replace a much larger flashlight for short periods when you need to. So it's a really good bit of kit. It feels solid, it feels reliable, and that sort of IP60 rating is really reassuring because most of the torches I've had that are broken, it's been to you know, them getting damp when they've been left out overnight. And I tend to spend a lot of time with my torches getting wet because I'm out in all weathers. So it's a great bit of kit. I would definitely recommend this. Uh, and I'm gonna leave a link where you can buy this if you wanted to. Now, I'm not going to uh, you know, lie about this. I do get a little bit of commission if you do that. Uh, and I would not recommend this torch unless I thought it was good. Just be aware that it is a small torch. Don't expect it to act like a spotlight because it isn't, but this performs absolutely fantastically for a small torch. And if you treat it as a small torch, you definitely will not be disappointed with its performance. Great bit of care.